hiking hike, Dad. Is it? Yeah. But honestly, I don't know if you can do that by yourself, though, really. I don't know. Seems like that you're like the secondary one over there on the side. You're the host, man. I'm just the host. I'm the host. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to another edition of Dirt Road Reset. I am Chad. i got Scott here with me. But you probably recognize this spot. We've been here numerous times on past videos. This is the, uh, the spot, the uh, Creekside spot behind us here. Um, we got Sammy here and we got Liam here. And they're, uh, they're having a great time. And we're probably going to be getting uh, to some freezing temps tonight. That being said, cool video I had in that uh, we are using the four person uh, mountain cattle teepee hot tent with the uh, hot t uh, hot tent stove inside of it and it was definitely a learning experience for both Scott and I definitely it was a chore putting <laughs> it up for the first time I've dealt with the smaller one the, the iron wall uh, one tigress that was simple this bigger one um, we've come to a, a, to agree that the more you do it the easier it'll become but it uh, it had a, a little bit of a steep learning curve putting it up but a loss it's up and it's comfy and i'm glad you're here joining us and we're going to hopefully see if it keeps us warm tonight we've hopefully got, it does we've yeah. got some uh, we've got the, the buddy heaters in the event uh that that it doesn't i'm hungry let's to eat time to eat time to eat So while we're on the topic of heat, we've got the buddy heaters, I've got the hot tent stove. Check this out. This is all the latest craze right here. And Scott, of course, is on that bandwagon with the diesel heaters, the five kilowatt diesel heater. They also come in an eight kilowatt version. Um, these are the Chinese uh, made ones here. You can get them off of Amazon for, uh, I don't know, between 150 and $200, yes. depending on where you look. Uh, these things are awesome. They're just as it, as it explains. It comes just like this. Um, they use diesel and they are heaters. <laughs> Scott's got the uh, hose connected going up into his uh, his rooftop tent. He's going to fire it up here and this thing is so quiet it's amazing. And he's going to fire it up with the remote control that it comes with. And guys, this thing is just too cool. I mean for 160 bucks this is uh, this is going to be my next purchase as well. He just started it, and you can you can't even hear anything. And Scott, uh, how efficient is it when you're up in the tent? I mean, is it putting out a good amount of heat? Uh, sometimes too much heat. Sometimes too much, yeah. Yeah, I have eight settings on this heater. I don't run it past the third setting, even when it's below freezing outside. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, I put my hands on it earlier, and it was it was really hot. That is too cool. So there you have it, diesel heater.
Scott, tell us about the uh, the newest addition to our uh, our camp set here. Well, these are some lights from uh, Harbor Freight. You yeah. get these when you buy their older uh, Thunderbolt uh, solar panel system. All right, cool. Which um, I think is discontinued now, but it was a four panel system. Came with a charge controller and three of these little light bulbs. Nice. Which are really great. That is, they I mean, it's bright. Good. Really I, bright. I know it's yeah. Christmas lights. They are. Let's talk about the Christmas lights. The Christmas lights are from Walmart. <laughs> They're just um, some lights. They're five dollars for a string. I got three strings here, and they're hooked up to my uh, solar generator. I have they're over here. Hooked up to the solar generator, and this is the uh, the power station that you you got. These are uh, similar guys to like the the Jackeries, the EcoFlows, the uh, Blue Yeti things. Cool, man. You can get stuff like this, guys, though. Um, like Scott said, this is a 110 that has a plug. Um, but you can get these. I've seen, in fact, Scott's had a pair in the past, too, that you can get USB-powered ones. USB, yes. Um, I've got a pair on my cot right now that Scott actually got me. Probably won't be able to see it on the on the uh, GoPro or I'd show you, but better USB. And they just add a, a really cool ambiance to the... Uh, the campsite I mean you probably I don't know how well that's gonna turn out with the low light but Scott it's starting to look like we actually know what we're doing here starting to I mean 10 videos or so later it's gonna explode in a minute <laughs> that looks good oh. does it smell good Liam Is this the part you've been waiting for for a long time? You've been asking since yesterday, right? Yeah. What YouTube channel is this? Dirt Road Reset. What is it? Dirt Road Reset. <laughs> the right. big reveal. Chef Scott. Oh yeah. Nice. There you go. And look at all that butter. Liam, you want to give it the uh, Liam? You're the professional popcorn tester. You want to try it? Yeah, I'll try it first, so I so I can let you guys know if it's good. Yep, it's good. All try right. It. Try it, Daddy. <laughs> Hey Liam. Hey. Are you having fun? Yeah. What do you think of the fireplace? Good. What about the teepee? You like the teepee? Yeah, but it just doesn't have any carpet, which is, I like that. No carpet, yeah. So if I fall off... And that's the CO2 detector right there. So if I fall off... <laughs> or a carbon monoxide so detector. So if I fall off my bed, I can sleep in the dirt. Hooray! <laughs> Put some more wood in this. Yeah, all that wood is burning fast, right? Sure is. Are you? Yeah. What is that? What is that? Corn beef hash. Dragon fruit. Oh, yeah. Look at the color. 
do this part right. I don't know how to cut these folks, but look at that. Yeah, I already knew it that it looked like that. Did you? Yeah. Should we just cut it straight down the middle now? Yeah. That's what you actually have to do. Good guess, Daddy. Yeah. You just cut like that. Oh. No, well, good thing the uh look at that. Don't you think it looks cool? It looks amazing. It has seeds in it. Does it? Yeah. See that little brown stuff? Those are seeds. You wanna pick them out and then you can grow a dragon fruit. Now it's try you can try it first because you never had it before. You should try it first if you like it. Mm. Yeah. Tastes pretty good. Yeah. Okay. Be very careful. Good job. Yeah, I didn't right. get any on my fingers. You didn't. Put it right here. So a quick tour of the Mountain Cattle, uh, also sold under numerous other brands off of Amazon. The four-person TP hot tent. Uh, one thing quick to note with this hot tent is that it um, comes with the stove jack, which is a nice feature. You got two vents, one on each side. You got two doors, one here, one on the other side. It's got ripstop uh, nylon, snow skirting, which is a really nice feature. Coming in. It is 13 feet across, 7.2 feet tall. So as you can see, I can stand up in it, which is pretty sweet. Stove fits nicely here on the bottom. And on each side, you can do this, arrange this however you want. You can turn the stove the other way, put your beds right here. Um, it does come with this pole that goes all the way to the top. That's what's supporting it. Um, both Liam and I have our Coleman Comfort Smart Cots on each side here and we got our sleeping bags our closed cell pads on bottom there and boy we stayed toasty warm last night I'm keeping the firewood underneath here and uh, yeah it stayed at least a good 30 degrees warmer inside here a couple times it actually got really hot and I was tempted to uh, open the door because it got so stinking toasty in here uh, the little stove, yeah, it's doing great. It got, uh, this thing, you know, once it's going, that pipe, that flute pipe there, the flue there will, uh, glow red at night, which leaves off a cool ambiance. These windows, windows, uh, when we first, uh, did the burn and turned black, but after it started burning for a while, it, they went back clear again, which is really cool at night too. Uh, this is meant to be a cooking surface, so you can cook on here. Pretty much, I'll do another video down the road that does a full uh, review of this tent and the stove. There are some things I like, some things I wish could be better. But all in all, uh, what a cool, unique experience. Definitely something I will be doing more of, that is for sure. Sammy found a really cool stick, guys, Where? and uh, he thought uh, it'd be it? cool to share it with you. Where is it? Tell us about what you found, Sammy. It, it's a stick that it like swirled around another stick. It's a stick that swirled around another stick. Look at the bottom of this thing. Let's see this. Look at that. It almost looks like wire, but it's the actual stick. Yeah, I found that over there. What was the best part? Everything. One thing. If you had to choose one thing, what was it? Everything is, but there's also my most favorite thing. What was that? Riding my dirt bike. Well, we've reached that point in our video, folks, where we say goodbye. I really appreciate you coming along with us and, uh, and checking the video out. If you liked what you saw and you want to see more, 
by all means, please hit that thumbs up button. Comment down below with what you think or if you have any questions, I'm pretty good about getting back to people pretty quickly. Above all, please hit that like and subscribe button down below and the bell notification, that way you're notified every time a new video is released. I'm not one of these guys that releases a video every single week, so you're not gonna get bombarded with notifications on that. I wish I had time to do that, but I do have a full-time job and I can't get out of here as much as I'd like to. Uh, but please, yeah, go over to the uh, Patreon page as well. Become a member that way. On that note, thank you to uh, Scott and Orion for being Patreon supporters. That's a huge help. Listen, if you or someone you know is suffering from any mental illness, whether it be something big or small, stress, anxiety, bipolar, ADHD, PTSD, complex PTSD, schizophrenia, you know, uh, postpartum, anything addiction that's a big one too right there um get outside go camping go for a walk around the block do whatever you do get out in nature breathe some fresh air and you know it, it and see what it does for you it's it's worked for me it's worked for countless of other people's uh countless of other let's try that again countless others <laughs> and uh i think it'll help you out immensely so yep yeah, that'll about do it for this trip uh we'll see you on the next one I hope you find your dirt road to reset. Bye-bye. Hey guys, real quick, I want to give a shout out to my friends over at 3D Mats USA. They sent me a complete set of interior floor mats for my 2013 F-150 right here. And let me tell you, these things are awesome. If you're in the market, or even if you're not, give these guys a, a chance. Go to their website. I'll put the link right down here. 3D Mats USA. These things are impeccable they are a perfect fit they make my oem mats look like rubbish i threw them out already and i will not go back to them ever again in fact these things will probably last me for as definitely as long as i have the truck they're indestructible they're cnc machined they are a perfect fit lightweight eco-friendly they have a, um, a max spider traction system on the bottom of them that doesn't harm the carpet underneath the mats and they make them unmovable i mean they are absolutely unequivocally the best floor mats money can buy check them out i beat the heck out of my floor mats after every camping trip that you guys have seen it's a pain in the butt going to the car wash having to power wash those old mats not any longer these things are waterproof and they're so easy to clean some of the key features with the 3d mats are that they are laser perfect fit for your car nothing will fit better they feature an innovative three-layer structure engineered to protect the interior of your vehicle's style, safety, and comfort in your daily ride. They have a patented proprietary Max Spider bottom layer that keeps the mats in place without harming your original carpet like Velcro does. And their three-dimensional designs are measured to exact cabin contours of your vehicles with raised edges. They're waterproof, and their semi-hard XPE foaming inner layer minimizes foot fatigue and provides the sound barrier for a quieter ride.